Fang in the house. We are in the presence of an actual comedian. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. I, 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 I feel like occasionally I say That's funny fine. things. As we get ready for the hip hop spell and B. Said the hip hop spell and B. Say what? The hip hop spell and B. It's a hip hop spell and B. Show up. What's up? Everybody, oh, everybody to the body, sit bang, bang your body. Let's say good morning to the man, ladies and gentlemen. Here is Chris Kattan. Oh, that's a fantastic intro. Hey, bring yeah. in Saturday Night Perfect. Live alum. Look at you. Comedy genius. You know, went home and did your homework. I know. You wrote sure it first. Did. Um, that's his homework. I, I have Comedy to confess. Comedy genius and SNL alum. I know. There uh-huh. we go. That's very sweet. I, I did my, uh, I was that kid who was sitting in the last seat in the row going, Crap, I didn't do my homework. Hold on. Oh, I got it. I got right it. Right something last minute. I hope it worked. So, Chris, I would like to thank you first for having your name rhyme with man, because that's that was a perfect oh, way right. to, to tie into man, all of this. Uh, land, mm-hmm. maybe. Perfect. He yeah. is uh, Saturday Night Live alum. You know him as from the night at Roxbury and uh, so many other great skits. You know him as possibly... Ariana Grande's secret boyfriend. Uh, we, don't, we don't know not, for sure. Well, we're not. Listen. No, but, 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 <laughs> but we are friends. Yes, we became friends on the. Uh, we did a Christmas uh, song on uh, Jimmy Fallon last uh, uh, December, and then she just. I don't know. We got along really well. And do oh, you cool. stay in touch with her? Yeah, I do. Actually, it's kind of surreal because uh, I'll DM her, uh-huh. and then she'll DM back and say something. Uh, she's really sweet. She's a totally grounded little girl. And Not a little girl, but yeah. she's like she's really smart. And she sweet. has been uh, somebody, and and I think we we gloss over it because she's a pop star yeah. and, and she's she's a good looking girl and she's, things like that. She's very grounded. She has been through a very challenging year. Yeah, a lot. exactly. And, I mean, Mac Miller and mm-hmm. then the, you know. the bombing at her show yeah, and exactly. everything. And then relationship stuff too. Mm-hmm. Like it's just right. a lot. And then additionally, being under the microscope as well, which uh, I'm sure you as someone working in Hollywood and New York City and things like that, it's like people are watching you all the time yeah, and constantly. criticizing everything that you're doing. Yeah, that's I know it is. It's, it must be tough. Well, it, I'm going to ask really hard hitting questions. really outspoken, though, about uh, her life mm. to me. Mm-hmm. She just she was very verbal and, and trusted me. And well, it's good to have a very sweet. good friends, like yeah. real friends like that. Yeah, because I don't think yeah. she probably she has a lot of friends, but they're probably Mostly dancers and makeup uh-huh. artists. Sure. Yeah. Like yeah. That, you know? And I think you get a challenge when you are a superstar like that in particular where you have friends, but you don't know who's your friend you know, on, like a, on a, a personal yes level. Right. Friend, friend. Or who wants to yeah. be part of your world. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's how, I, that's how I've seen it, too, with a lot of guest hosts on Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's a couple I became friends with too. You know, like like Cameron Diaz was like mm-hmm. when she was on doing something about Mary, she got you know she just blew up, and she didn't even see it coming. Yeah, so she just I kept love Cameron giving and giving, and then everybody kept taking taking more. Mm-hmm. And at some point, she just had to stop. Right, and and you think, oh my god, these these are supposed to be my friends, and then right. here we are dealing with a situation, and then you have to make tough decisions. Right. As a, as a celebrity and right, dealing exactly. with that, and, I mean, you you become a business. You're a business. Right, right, right. Exactly. Are you a good speller? Uh, I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little you, hesitation there. Are you a fan of hip hop? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you ready for the hip hop spelling? Are you gonna Are you gonna sing that song about me? Again? I can do that again. No, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you're gonna. No, you're I gonna, liked <laughs> that. But, it, but, it's not but that I'm not a fan. It of was it. too good to repeat. It's though. never going to be the same. It's, it's gold. <laughs> you you not the park for the first. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it, we are here. Gold, don't make it silver. With our friend Chris Catan. <laughs> Thank you for having me in your house. And we didn't make you take your shoes off. That is no. true. Why would I do that? Oh, some, some, right. Some you places, have, some houses, they make you take your shoes off when yeah. you come in. I think uh, who who does that? I think um, Ashton Kutcher. Is he See? take your shoes off? Take it. He'll go. Take your shoes off. Does he give you some sort of glorious slipper to put on? Then maybe uh, it would be okay. You should have a slipper. No, because he wants to say, clip your nails. Okay. It's oh. <laughs> a very judgmental man. Yeah. Oh. They always say, take a shower and get out of here. He's wielding a lot of power. Is uh-huh. it a bed and breakfast that he's having there? Well, it's, no. a, it's his house. That is true. That's true. Yeah. 